Prepare to appear by Cockroach Lady. Did you ever wonder how a plant grows or how it changes? Well, here's how it goes. You really think I'd tell you that already? If you did, you're wrong. I'll tell you, but not yet. You just have to wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, now I'll tell you. First, it starts as a seed or a nut or whatever you want to call it. The seed comes from a fruit, a pod, a vegetable, a flower. The seed is a very vital part to the plant's life. And if the plants don't have any seeds, we would soon run out of plants and out of life. You don't want that to happen. Did you ever think of plants as smart? This may surprise you because they are. The way they spread their seed is amazing. Have you ever seen a dandelion when it's at the end of its plant cycle? Have you ever blown on it? That's how the dandelion spreads its seeds. By wind. And a sunflower by a bird eating its seeds and pulling them out. It's kind of gross. Erosion is another important part because after that the seed gets buried in the ground. Then it rains. That's important too. The plant then soaks up the water. Then it wiggles. It will be going harder now. Then finally it sprouts. That was so exciting. Now the plant has a stem and some leaves. The stem is a vital part of the plant too. It guides and stores the plant food and water so it can grow. The stem is very, very important. It's like your torso because it also keeps it up straight. The leaves are important for us even. The leaves have like their own breathing system. They take in the carbon dioxide we breathe out and then they breathe out the oxygen we breathe in. But also the leaves protect the plant and sometimes catch its food, like Venus flytraps or pitcher plants. Another seriously important part of the plants is its roots. They go into the ground and suck up water to drink. And that's when it enters the stem, like I said before. Some roots are very strong, and some are really weak. Some are really huge, like trees, and some are very small, like daisy. But they're all very important. Then the last part. It happens at the end of the plant's life. The plant forms pods with seeds inside of them. These pods contain a life of new plants. They are very important. And then, you guessed it, it starts all over again. The life of a new plant is forming right as we speak. And I gotta go watch. But I hope you enjoyed me teaching you about plants. Thank you.